I'm Maddie and I work at Ausveg as a biosecurity officer. I've worked in horticulture for four and a half years. I'm 25 years old and specifically in the biosecurity sector. So my role is really diverse. We do a range of different things, whether it be traveling and visiting farmers, um, or working from the office, working remotely, um, having meetings with other industry representatives. For me, there's no way that I could do a nine to five office job. I just couldn't do it. And so horticulture is so appealing in that way because you can go out and about. We travel to different farms across Australia. Um, Ausveg is a national body, so we are really lucky we have the opportunity to do so. So like I said, I've been in horticulture for four and a half years and it started off as a really interesting journey. I was studying science at Monash University in Melbourne um, and I got a part-time job with Ausveg. So I was working in project development. And then after that, I was quite interested in the biosecurity space. And I was also really interested in engagement and extension with growers and the wider industry. So I applied for a new role and I became a full-time biosecurity officer with Ausveg. After three and a half years, another opportunity came up at Ausveg in um, Perry Urban Biosecurity. And I, I took that role and now I'm working in that. So I've been doing that for about three and a half months now. When I was at uni, I had no idea what I wanted to do. Um, I obviously studied a science degree and it was really broad and I knew nothing about horticulture. So when the opportunity at Ausveg came up, it was incredible and I'm so glad that I took it and I'm so glad that it's led me to where I am today. I've learned so much in the past four and a half years and I can't tell you how incredible it is and how supportive the industry is in developing young people into other careers than being an actual vegetable grower or a horticulture grower. There are so many opportunities and I didn't even know that my job existed. I know that we hear people say that your role, your, your career is going to change throughout your lifetime, but I had no idea that biosecurity officers existed and how much you learn and the skills you use can assist other people and what you learn from the grower as well. And it's just so rewarding and being able to do all of that. So I'm so lucky to be involved in horticulture and I really enjoy it. Hi, right, my name is Anthony Diezzo and I'm a bunch line vegetable grower. So biosecurity officers, science officers, extension, uh, researchers, they're great. When they come out to farm, you know, we have the time to be able to sit down with them. They can look at the crop from a different perspective. We look at the crop from a growing perspective in regards to growing a crop, getting it out the ground and making money from it. And they look at it from a whole different outlook. Why is it doing what it's doing? Why, you know, is it yellowing? And they can give us that information on any pests and diseases that we may have or may be coming on. And then we can incorporate that information that they give us from a different outlook into our growing style, into producing a better quality crop at the other farm. So you see the yellowing. So a misconception about getting into the horticulture industry, especially working out in the field, is that you can only get into the horticulture industry if you're related to somebody. And yeah, I'm a fourth generation vegetable grower, but being in the industry and seeing all the different avenues that students studying this can take, it's amazing. It's such a broad range. You don't just have to grow. You can do other roles that impact the growing side. You can be an agronomist, an advisor, a researcher, uh, work in biosecurity, anything like that. It all comes back to the field. There are people doing the work, but there are people that are helping those people make sure the work gets done at a top level. So if you're out there and you're thinking about getting in the horticulture industry, you're thinking about transitioning to whatever you're doing to get into the horticulture industry, this is a great job. It's fun, it's exciting, it is challenging. You'll love horticulture. There's no industry like it. You get your hands dirty. My hands are filthy right now holding this kale and it's so rewarding. There's nothing more rewarding than growing food and putting it on someone else's table. Give it a go and just be willing to work.